Hey everyone, this is Dave Erickson hanging out at Lava Java along Ali'i Drive. It's race week here at the 2013 GoPro Ironman World Championship. And we're talking to the athletes today about what they do to stay motivated when the going gets tough during an Ironman. In a long race, and especially here on Ali'i Drive, and, and in Hawaii it's quite easy. Just to remember that you will finish this race and you will run across that finish line. And that will be a reward for whatever hard times you go through in the race. Especially in this race, I just try to think about how lucky I am just to be here. You know, if I start uh, feeling bad, I think, well, there's a lot of people who'd love to be here and, and are not. And, and uh, you know, just try to remind myself I'm, I'm lucky to be here and I'm having fun. I always try to think about um, the family that's this, uh, taking the time for, to let me get out there and train. And, uh, and you think about the, them a lot while I'm out there. Um, it gives me a lot of motivation. Um, so that when I do finish uh, the race that, that I would have been able to show them that I gave it all I had. I think about the family but I also think about all the training that I've done. I know that everybody else is going through the same thing on the day and I know that usually once you've gone through a really down point, a couple of k's later you're normally feeling a lot better so I always know it's going to get better. Um, well I did this race last year and I, re I did reach a point that was mentally very tough and I just remember what a friend said from home, just look around to your right and left and just know where you are and I did that last year and it was it, it was incredible. It really lifted my spirits. So tell us, how would you describe Ali'i Drive as the athletes come down before they cross the finish line? Oh, it's magic. It's, um, it, it makes you cry and laugh and, and, uh, and just feel, it's, it's the best feeling in the world. It feels like goosebumps from up here to down wherever my body ends on the lower end. It's just indescribable in a certain way and um, yeah, it's what you've worked for, and it, no matter how really done you were a mile before the finish line, you're all smiles at the end. It's just, it's an experience of a lifetime. It's, it's surreal, it's very hard to explain. It's just, it's an incredible mix of emotions that was one of the greatest moments of my life. I think the only regret is I ran too fast. I think I might slow it down a little this year to try to enjoy it more. So this is your first time here in Kona what do you imagine the finish line to be like? Uh, looking very forward to it. I can't really imagine yet what that feeling is going to be like coming down a lead drive. Um, but I've watched uh, so many do that over the past six or seven years uh, from home on the computer. And uh, it's, it's, I know it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. The atmosphere is going to be incredible. Um, I'll probably cry because I normally do. <laughs> um, and the relief of finishing is just incredible. Remember, you can follow all the action on race day Saturday by going to Ironman.com. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Mahalo and aloha.